Next thing we have are Lewis acids and bases. And when you think of the, the name Lewis, you should be thinking Lewis structures. That was the person that made us, you know, figure out how many valence electrons everything had and figure out how things connect together. He was the electron guy, super important person um, and a super important concept. And as you'd expect, when we're talking about Lewis acids and bases, we get to go back and draw some molecules, which is pretty cool. The not so cool thing about this is we've been looking at acids and bases through the lens of H+. Did it lose? Did it gain H+. Now, Lewis, because he's all about the electrons, now we're going to look and see if something's accepting or something's losing electrons. Now, again, it's still the same acids and bases. So Arrhenius, Bronstedlary, Lewis. If something's an acid with Arrhenius, it's an acid with Lewis. It's an acid with Bronstedlary. It doesn't change that. This just allows us to identify more things as acids and bases. All right, so let's get into it. That's funny. These all came up as A's. Um, so that should be a B. That should be a C. Great. All right, so Lewis acid is an atom, an ion, or a molecule that accepts an electron pair to form a covalent bond. So what an acid here does, so an acid... For Lewis, it accepts an electron pair. All right, so now acid accepts an electron pair. A Lewis base is going to be the opposite. So an atom, an ion, or a molecule that donates an electron pair to form a covalent bond. All right, so the Lewis acid-base reaction it's the formation of one or more covalent bonds between an electron pair donor and an electron pair acceptor, all right? And if it's donating electron pairs, it's a Lewis base. So this is why it can be, can, <clears throat> this is why it can be confusing because when we've seen the word donor before, we're usually talking about H pluses, and that's usually the acid. But now because we're talking about electrons, which are the opposite of the positive H plus, it's now the base. So it's the opposite, but the same because we're talking about the opposite particle, which makes it kind of confusing until you see an example, then it'll make sense. Okay, so an electron pair acceptor, so this is something that's accepting electrons, that's going to be our Lewis acid. Okay, so the best way to look at this is to do some examples. First thing you have to do is you have to draw the Lewis structures for the examples. So let's do that first. So we have an H plus, that's easy, there's no electrons, so we just leave it that way. NH3, all right, N has five valence electrons. We know that because of what group it's in on the periodic table. Um, we know each hydrogen has one electron. And again, this is different than these ones. These lost their electrons, right? This one still has it. So we have our three hydrogens. Okay, so there's our Lewis structure for ammonia. Now, if we were in the earlier part of this chapter and you saw ammonia, you you know, I said, oh, ammonia, that's a base, right? Well, let's find out if it's still going to act like a base with the Lewis acids and the Lewis bases. Another thing that we talked about earlier on in the chapter was H+. We said Arrhenius. If it produces H+, or it's H+, that's the acid, right? So let's see if it's still true when we get into this. So which can donate an electron pair. Now, you might not know what an electron pair is, or you might not remember. So if we had water, water has two electron pairs that are not really involved with anything right now. So those two are these and these. So these are those electron pairs that we're talking about. So if you look down at ammonia, 
Does it have that? Yeah, it has it right here. Does hydrogen have that? No. So which can donate an electron pair? Well, the only one that can donate an electron pair is the ammonia. So if it can donate an electron pair, that's the Lewis base. So this is the Lewis base. And it's a base anyway because we said it's ammonia, right? All right, let's look at the other one. So which can accept an electron pair? Well, this is H+, plus, right? So the H+, plus wants an electron, right? It normally is neutral, right? So it would accept an electron pair. So that makes this the Lewis acid. And if Arrhenius was here, he'd say, yeah, H+, plus, that's, that's an acid. I'm okay with that. Now, the new thing is figuring out what the product is, okay? So to do this, I'd recommend you use your drawing and kind of like figure out, all right, so I have the N. This is it before, okay? It has two dots, all right? And the H is going to get connected to it. So again, the donating donation of an electron pair is going to cause that bond to form here. So one of these electrons is going to be shared with the hydrogen, and then the hydrogen is going to form a covalent bond. So what you're going to end up with is something that looks like this. And you can't forget the positive because that H was H plus, right? So it still has to stay in there. So our answer would be that. It would be this drawing. Or you can write it as NH4 plus. All right. So this itself is not an acid or a base. This is a new covalent molecule. The Lewis acid and the Lewis base are defined by the reactants. All right, you look at the reactants to figure that out. All right, hopefully that helps. Okay, before you look at the next video, try this next problem. See if you can figure out what's going to be the Lewis acid, the Lewis base, and the product, and then go to the next video.